What's going down, Vape Fam? This is Joe of All Vapes. Please excuse my cheesy California Valley Boy accent. Believe it or not, I once had a very classy Valley Boy accent from SoCal, you know what I'm saying? But the PNW knocked that out of me, you know what I'm saying? I'm way too white bread for my own good these days. But I've got some awesome Clancy's E-Juice washed ashore from Southern California that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So Clancy's busted this awesome e-juice out to me and I've been holding on to this awesome stuff letting it steep letting it get happy just so I could share it with you guys out on the e-juice community market you know what I'm saying we're gonna bust this out and this is let me tell you the pride and joy of some of my reviews that I get to do is reviewing e-juice this high quality and this novelty at the same time is really, really kick-ass. You know what I'm saying? I got my tiki guys going on in the background. And until I get the rest of my tiki up, that's about as tropical as it's going to get right here. You know what I'm saying? So on the back of this box that you're going to get, because I know you guys are going to want to buy all of the flavors they come with, comes with the flavor profiles of all five of the flavors. I'm going to read these to you real quick. First one is Gravy Train, Riptide, Sunburst, The Wedge, and Breaking Blue. So we're going to go through these one by one, bust out these bottles, and I'm going to show you each and every one of them. I'm on the fly here, you know what I'm saying, guys? And we're going to get into the nitty gritty. So first of all, all of the labels are pretty standard and typical. They all look like that. You know, this whole label right in the background right here, just a wonderful shot, just a really, really cool shot of the Southern California life. You know what I'm saying? By the bay, catching some waves, getting some awesome sun going on, checking out the chicks, vaping on an awesome vape. What's up, man? Let me tell you, getting some grooves going on. Being from the greater Bay Area of California, I, you know, I grew up there. I was born and raised there. It really did. I left a little bit of myself there. But but I'm settled here in the PNW. The good thing is, is that Clancy's has hooked me up with some awesome vapes to bring my mind back to that warm water. You know what I'm saying? So the first bottle that we're going to try is the Gravy Train. And Gravy Train is, I'm going to read it to you now, a delectable English cream with subtle undertones of sweet vanilla and warm hazelnut. This robust blend is enriched, delightful notes of butter and velvety caramel. Holy crap, Ola, guys, you know what I'm saying? This one is a dessert lover's fantasy. So I sub ohmed it and I dripped it. Better if you drip it. The thickness level on this stuff is pretty out of sight. And I didn't catch the ratio, unfortunately. But I'm willing to bet that if you go on to Clancy'sVapors.com, they're going to give you all that information. I'm thinking it's probably around a 70-30. I feel a little bit bad for not knowing that ahead of time. But trust me on this one, guys. You're not going to go wrong with this company. You get these fat little 15 milliliters, and I love the fat 15 mil bottles. Kind of makes you feel like you're still getting a 30, but you got this groovy little fat bottle going on. You know what I'm saying? Unbelievable smell to it. Incredible taste, but it's nothing compared to the vape. Oh, man, you can just smell the butter. You know, you can lay it on the table and just smell the butter going on in there. You know, you got that sweet cream rolling around in there. The really cool thing I loved about this one was the hazelnut infusion in this. So hazelnut and cream pretty much go beautifully together anyways. If you guys have ever tried like a little bit of a hazelnut coffee creamer going on in your coffee in the morning, then you guys definitely know what I'm talking about with creamy undertones and of course the butter coming in from the back end keeps everything rich and earthy, just smiling and happy. Everything is perfectly sweet but still fairly subtle. So I think you guys are really, really going to dig this flavor. It's really one of my favorites in this whole box. The next one is Riptide. Now the Riptide is raspberry drizzled with buttercream and hints of blood orange. So if you guys have not tried blood orange vapes before, it is a very unique flavor. It's not like regular orange. It's almost like you took a berry and infused it with an orange. Very, very unique. It's a pretty singular flavor in itself. It's very deep and it's very earthy and pretty much classified under culinary standards as a savory. So when you're taking a little bit of rich buttery buttercream and mixing it in with something as light 
flavorful and tart as a ripe, fresh raspberry. Mixing it all together, you're getting something really, really unique. It tastes very confectionery, almost like I want to whip this up and put it on a cupcake. You know what I'm saying? So they're really playing solid to a lot of the dessert vapors here, but they're throwing in stuff light enough to tantalize your taste buds and make sure that some of the fruit vapors out there are going to appreciate this stuff too. And I really bet this is going to wet the whistle of some of the breakfast vapors as well. So this one was definitely number two in the lineup from my favorites here. Really, really good stuff. The next one in line is Sunburst. And the Sunburst is kind of an exotic mystery. So it's classified as a mysterious exotic fruit blend with hints of something in there that is very familiar and something outside the box as well. So, so at first smell which I typically always do, which you guys know. I'm smelling something that is very familiar, but kind of hard to put my finger on. And I have vaped this stuff before, but it's very aromatic, almost kind of a floral scent to it. So I'm, I'm sensing a little bit of orange in there, maybe some strawberries, but you know what? I'm also tasting kind of an appleish flavor to it when I vape it with like a little bit of watermelon, maybe even a little bit of guava or papaya going on in the background. Kind of an exotic fruit blend, definitely not your typical uh, you know, fruit mixture or your fruit salad or something like that. And it's a really, really good exotic fruit blend. But, you know, like I said, it brings it down to something very reminiscent, something that you would have at a Sunday picnic, you know, out with your family in the middle of the summertime. Very, very familiar, yet something very, very tropical, too. So it is an extremely pleasant vape. It's a perfect palate cleanser in between a lot of the heavier stuff out there. We got another two flavors to go yet, so it's a good thing this one was wedged in the middle, you know what I mean? And speaking of wedge, the next flavor is... The Wedge. I swear to God that was an accident, you know what I'm saying? I just threw that one out there. But The Wedge is classified as a tantalizing, sweet, and creamy taste of key lime pie. Now, here's the deal. I know what most of you guys are saying. Key lime pie, really? Straight up? Now, key lime pie is kind of a, it can, can be a really funky vape. I mean, let's get down to it. A lot of people don't like key lime pie because a lot of people don't like lime. Lime is one of those unique out-of-the-box flavors that is sits very neat and pretty when it's in a glass and it's in a bubbly soda, you know what I mean? Or it's over some great Mexican food. But a lot of the time, lime is so exotic outside of somebody's base flavor palette that it's just something really too much outside the box for them. And I, I understand because I relate to a certain degree. But if it's done well, you're going to appreciate it time and time again. This one was very tart, very true to the lime flavor, but the creaminess of a typical key lime pie was definitely in there. So it rolled around in there and a very slight and subtle hint of a graham cracker crust. Very, very light on that, but it really emphasized more on just straight out lime. So consider it kind of a candied lime flavor. Mellow, but still kind of earthy. So it brought it down you know, just, just kept some of that strength of the typical lime going on in there and made it nice and comfortable and relaxing while being something that was still very airy and very refreshing. So in between kind of a dessert and a palate cleanser, but somewhere floating around in there, I think some of the breakfast vapors and the singular fruit vapors are going to appreciate this too. There really is something to appreciate about a flavor that may hit the market that not everybody in the world digs, but if you can do it quality, I can guarantee you're going to change minds every time. You know what I'm saying? That is going to bring me to the fifth and final flavor. My personal favorite, absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt. And I'm going to enjoy explaining this one to you. This one is Breaking Blue. Now, I'm going to read word for word the flavor description on this one. Get ready to break into a new favorite, warm and flaky French toast slices, stuffed to the brim with sweet blueberries and fresh cream, then topped with powdered sugar and gooey blueberry glaze for the ultimate breakfast experience. You really have no idea how good this, this vape is. I wanted to take this and drizzle it over a donut as if it would have made it taste any better, you know what I mean? This is one of the most absolute amazing dessert slash breakfast vapes I have ever tasted yet. Unbelievable flavor. Now, I mean, everything that they described into this, you were tasting. This sort of tastes like uh, the reminiscence of every good 
blueberry creamy donut flavored vape out on the market and then some. Sweet where it needed to be. Sweet and creamy where you didn't expect it to be. And then other flavors combined in that with such a true solid blueberry taste. None of that candy artificial blueberry flavor. And it was so buttery and rich it just melted in your mouth without having anything in there to melt. This one was an all day, all week, all month vape for me and I can guarantee you Clancy's, I'm probably going to be ordering this in 60 milliliter bottles from this point on. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed, take my word for it, the Joe of All Vapes, two thumbs up on the Breaking Blue. One of the most amazing dessert flavors I have ever tried, bar none. Have I gotten my point across? You know what I'm saying? Okay, good. So, here's the skinny on Clancy's Vapor. What you're going to do is you're going to go onto Instagram, you're going to check out Clancy's Vapors, and you're going to hit follow. You're going to check out all their awesome pictures, which they do have, and you're going to help support an awesome company. And I'm asking you to do that out of the kindness of my vaping heart, because it's a wonderful company, and they are supporting Joe Vol Vapes by allowing me to spread the word. So here's the deal, folks. I don't love every flavor that I review, but I review every flavor unbiased, and I give my absolute word on that one. So when it comes to a brand that I either represent as a sponsor or I represent them because I'm reviewing them, I'm giving everybody an equal and fair shot. It wouldn't be fair for me to say, give me some of your juice for free and I'll review it and then say, you know what, this sucks. I'm not going to review this stuff. Makes sense, doesn't it? You want to give everybody an even chance and an even opportunity across the board. I am very honest with everything that I review, and I will put my name to that, my word, anytime. Any of you guys want to give me some arguments on that one, I can guarantee you ain't going to win it. Because everybody gets on Joe of All Vapes equally, even if I think they need a little bit of tweaking. I will honestly say, you know what? This one needs to kind of go back to the drawing board, but I can kind of see where you were going with that. So sometimes if it seems like I'm giving some companies just a little bit of extra props, it's not that at all. The fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of companies out there that I really, really think professionally have put the time, the energy, the passion, and very, very good quality ingredients into their vapes. Clancy's Vapors is definitely one of those companies. So I'm going to bust those guys up and I'm going to let you guys know that this is definitely a company that you need to put some respect behind. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. And that's cool too. Everybody respects respect. Never forget that. So once you've gone on to Clancy's Vapors, check out the link on their Instagram page and that's going to take you to the website. You're going to be able to buy the little Fatty, short, stubby 15 milliliter bottles. I absolutely love the label. Man, that takes me back. Great, great flavors. And you'll be able to get these in the 30 milligrams too. And do yourselves a favor. If you want to buy the five bottle pack, awesome. Support these guys. But definitely buy yourself five more, six more breaking blues on the side. But I guarantee you, once you vape through all the other awesome flavors, you're going to want to have a stockpile of this flavor. Um, you know, just out of habit and necessity, I'm going to save this one as the best for last. So I'm going to try not to force vape through the rest of these. You know what I'm saying? So Clancy's E-Juice, I just want to let you guys know, thank you very much for your support and your passion, everything that you put into your awesome flavors. Appreciate you uh, sticking it through here with Joe of All Vapes. And I hope all of you guys have gotten something out of this review too. So if you dig it, Spread the word here on my YouTube channel. Check me out on Instagram, Vapes underscore two. I've got an awesome giveaway coming up very soon because I did just hit the 10,000 follower mark. Thank you very much for that. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I'm still compiling that uh, whole giveaway together. I've got some of my awesome sponsors contributing some of their awesome stuff for that giveaway. And of course, on top of that, I've got my typical monthly giveaway going on too, plus a very special giveaway coming out with my awesome friends over at the Pie Guys Eju. So keep an eye out for that stuff. One last thing I want to say to you guys is keep the advocacy rolling, sign all those petitions, and make sure that you keep uh, you know everything that we love doing alive so that we can continue to thrive and do what we love doing. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't be able to hit these up were it not for advocacy. Oh, the breaking blue. I love California at night, you know what I'm saying? So, one last thing that I want to leave you guys with is love yourselves, love each other, and you keep it cloudy.